Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite recent additions to War Thunder. That is the Lim 5P. The Lim 5P is a rank 6 battle rating, or no, excuse me, rank 5 battle rating 9.0 fighter for Germany. And it's really, really strong. So what exactly is the Lim 5P? Well, it's basically a MiG-17+. plus. This is because you get an afterburner, which will greatly improve your flight performance. Before we get into the flight performance itself though, let's talk about this change in armament between this and the MiG-17. So the MiG-17 gets two 23mm cannons and a separate 37mm cannon, just like a whole lot of other Russian fighters. The Lim 5P on the other hand sacrifices that 37mm cannon and replaces it with another 23 just like the other two guns on the aircraft. And honestly I kind of like it. I'm not sure if I would prefer it over the 37mm cannon and the 223s, but the 323s are definitely adequate. One more key difference between this and the MiG-17 is that the Lim 5P gets a fully functioning search radar. Maybe it's not that useful at 9.0, but I figured I'd at least point it out. So how does the Lim 5P perform? Well, it's basically a MiG-17, so very nice. I haven't really had any extensive use of the MiG-17, but I do know the MiG-17 is one of those planes that all the really, really good Air RB players like to play a lot. Or at least used to before missiles and stuff were being spammed all the time. Speaking of which, let's talk about that real quick. So the Lim 5P sits at a battle rating of 9.0, which is a strange spot right now. On one hand, you can get fully up tiered to a 9.0 to 10.0 match, which is pretty much the worst BR range in the game right now in my opinion mainly because of the amount of brand new players in high tier premium vehicles who have no idea what they're doing so they just spam missiles everywhere and on the other hand you can get a full down tier and absolutely run every single match you play. This is a slight problem for the battle rating of where this thing should be at because you would think to balance it out to where you wouldn't be dominating every single down tier you would have to be bumped up to 9.3 but if you get bumped up to 9.3 you're almost exclusively going to get up tiers to those missile wielding premium planes and if you wanted to move this thing down a BR bracket to 8.7 it would completely just dominate every single match ever which is just not okay obviously. And why is War Thunder like this right now? Um well <laughs> Battle rating compression, but I'm not going to go deep on that in this video, I'll save that for another video. Anyway, since we're on the topic of battle ratings, let's talk about the Lim 5P and how it plays in an up tier versus how it plays in a down tier. So let's say you get fully up tiered, you're going to be seeing some A5Cs, some F4C Phantoms, you're going to see some A10s with those AIM-9Ls, you're going to see a bunch of MiG-21s who will try and turn with you, which is still hilarious to me, and you're going to see lots of missiles coming at you from every single direction if you even think about showing your afterburner to your enemy. Luckily, most of the missiles at this battle rating range aren't that good, but in a full up tier you are going to see those really, really good missiles. But even in those full up tier matches, my experience wasn't that bad. And that's because, like I said, you're going to be going against a whole lot of premium vehicles who are likely new players who don't really know what they're doing yet. So even in a full up tier, you can do well as long as you really, really focus on your surroundings. Only other problem is that everyone's going to be able to outrun you if they so desire in a full up tier and there's not much you can do about that. Then there's the down tier matches. In a down tier, no one is going to be able to touch you if you don't want them to. After all, this is an afterburning MiG-17, so you're literally just a MiG-17, but better. All you have to do is slightly know how to energy fight, and you win. Energy trapping is really, really easy with this thing, just like most of the other MiG variants. And in this match I'm about to show you, I'll be doing exactly that. Alright, here we go. Starting out in this match, basically my whole team's already dead. I believe there's only one player alive. Other than me, of course. And basically this whole time, I've just been kind of running around trying to get shots off on people in this furball, but I've been struggling to get any shots off. So at this point, I have zero kills. But that's about to change right now with this F3H. He tries to dodge, but he's too slow. So that's one kill, but I've got a lot more work to do to get this match in the bag. So up next, we got an AV8 on my tail. And the thing is that the AV8s is that they're not all that maneuverable, so it's not going to be hard to stay out of their guns. Since he's catching up to me, I'm going to try and get him to overshoot instead of turning because I felt if I turned, he would have an easy shot at me. Just trying to stay clear of his guns, make one last little dodge, and now he's going to be in front of me. Kind of choked a bit right here. With the shot, I felt like I should have easily had. Doesn't really matter though because now I'm on his tail. And then I take a few more shots, but my aim is absolutely horrendous. He puts his nose down and I pursued. More terrible aim. And finally he's dead. Now that he's out of the match, another AV-8 shows up. I'm not quite sure where he went a minute ago, but he's here now. I thought this would be a kind of a similar fight, but the way he plays this, I'm going to get him in the first pass. Looks like he overestimated my speed, so I'm going to get my guns on easily. So that's going to be my third kill. Up next, to everyone's surprise, I'm sure, another AV-8. Premium plane, best plane, X-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D. 
so this AB8 full commits to a fight first turn, which is absolutely okay with me. Thought I was gonna hit this shot. It was close, but I fired just a touch too late. We're both gonna enter our second turn, and since I'm a little bit slower and I started out a little bit behind him, I hit a shot right here. Take off half one of his wings, but since he is a Harrier, he has that thrust vectoring, so he'll probably be able to make it back to base if he really wanted to. Which obviously means I have to follow him and absolutely throw all of my ammo away trying to hit him because I am the worst aimer in existence, as you are about to see. I figured I'd let y'all just watch me be terrible. I guess it's okay though, I was low on fuel anyway, so I was gonna have to go back to rearm anyway. Which what you're seeing now is after the fact. At this point I knew the last two were already A-10s, so all I had to worry about were those AIM-9Ls, which luckily I don't think either of them were even carrying. Because I would be dead right now if this one was. I honestly got kinda lucky because I wasn't really paying attention to where this guy was coming from. But this is gonna be an easy fight because all I have to do is run him out of energy which in this thing is not hard at all, especially going against an A-10. He's gonna follow me up and the only reason I actually turned right here is just in case he did have AIM-9Ls to make it a little bit harder for him to get that AIM-9L fired. And even if he did get his AIM-9L out it probably wouldn't hit me since he's under a kilometer away and I'm at a pretty much 90 degree angle to him. In this situation the A-10 can practically do nothing. After all, it is a ground pounder and it has no real air to air capabilities outside of those AIM-9Ls that it carries. I know it, he knows it, he's not going to be alive very much longer. Attempting to get out of the way of my guns, he rolls down, but he actually kind of rolls into them more than downward, so he can say goodbye to his left wing. And he is not going to recover from that. And that makes 5 kills. And finally, the final player on the enemy team is another A-10. Once again, I'm just going to take it upward, because he can do nothing about it. Going to do the exact same thing I did with the first guy, and that is flatten out as soon as he gets behind me. And then now just do basically horizontal loops until I get on his tail, aka a rate fight. But it's not really going to take more than one circle to get on his tail. Pop my flaps out because I'll probably be able to cut inside of his circle. And I'm not too sure what happened here, I don't know why since there's no active players when this guy is very obviously active. Honestly right here I was really afraid the game was going to end before I killed him, I was trying to get him so quick. <laughs> I'll just use that as my excuse for my pathetic aim this time. Luckily I get him before the game does end, and that's going to be a successful 1v6 up tier in the Lim 5 p Alright, so the burning question that's on everybody's mind. Will the Lim 5 p get bumped up to a battle rating of 9.3? Well. I don't really know. I've seen quite a few people say this and I know in the right hands the Lim 5P is very, very deadly, but the average player, eh, I don't know about that. After all, Gaijin does balance off of statistics, so who's to say? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it did get bumped to 9.3, I'll say that. Do I think it deserves to be there? I'm not too sure to be honest because 9.3, like literally you play any plane that's 9.3 that isn't a supersonic and it is a awful, it's just an awful experience. Like even the Ariette in and up tier, it's like not that fun because you get missiled by like 35G missiles all the time. Like, like yeah, like it's still, you know, an amazing plane if you get into a dogfight, like nothing can beat you in a dogfight, but it's just so annoying having to be on your toes constantly trying to focus on avoiding, you know, our 60s and magics when you don't have flares or missiles yourself. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I hope it doesn't go to 9.3 because it's very, very fun and I want to enjoy this plane. All right, if you're still watching at this point, you are absolutely amazing. And I'm surprised I can hold anybody's attention this long. So thank you, you're awesome. I just hit 4,000 subscribers literally right as I'm recording this. So like right now, it's at 4,000 on the dot. So like, woo! Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you would like to see more of this kind of video, hit the subscribe button because then you can get all of my videos, you know, woo! And if you got something to say about my video or the Lim 5P, drop it down in the comments. I'm honestly curious to see what you guys think about it. And on that, I will see you guys next time. Peace.